I wanted my oils to be totally different than the hair cutlery. You know, I wanted it to be just like the salon I worked in in England, which was awesome. We did huge amount of color. We had shampoo girls, we had receptionists. I had amazing education. My whole theory behind this was that it would be a $60 experience with a $20 price point, because I, I knew that we could deliver that. I was in London one time and I saw these laundromats and I'm like, oh, I just love that name. But when I think of bubbles, I think of shampoo and, you know, lots of bubbles and shampoo in people's hair. And I thought, well, that would be a cute name for a salon. My intention was just one, it was my escape to go to, but it, it, I hate to say it, it was kind of easy, so I decided, well, maybe I'll open another one. And I was always friendly with Gajo because we worked for the same company a few years earlier. And so I approached Gajo to come and work for me because when I opened the next salon, I would want her to run the salon, which was Capitol Hill. So I had these four good, strong salons and I was sailing along feeling, boy, I'm so smart. <laughs> you know, oh well, that big drop was to come. So I decided it was time to open a flagship store. So my flagship store was going to be in the Galleria. It was a brand new, gorgeous mall that was going to be very high end, and I invested everything I had. I built a beautiful store, and the mall was just a total flop. My big mistake was, which I will never do again, was that I actually signed personally for that lease. So there was no back door for me. I had to stay and make this work whether I liked it or not. Gajo and I just, you know, pulled our socks up and we did it together. We took turns in being responsible for the downtown salons and her and I would work 24 seven in this, the Galleria salon. I figured out a lot of things during that time. I really figured out tiered pricing because how to get people to make more money, how to produce more. If you made more, I made more. We both did well. Focus more on education, big time on education. I feel this whole mess made me a better businesswoman. And so in the end, when I look back on that, I think to myself, well, maybe it was a good thing because it really did turn me around. And you know, people think when you're successful, oh, it's easy. It's never as easy as it looks.